What's up? It's your boy Kazi, and welcome back to Kazi Plays. And with Film Starts currently being free to play, there is going to be a surge of new players that are going to be on here. So I thought, why not make the Ultimate Tonics Guide for people so they can know the ins and outs of her? And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here today. So without further ado, let's go to get into it. Now, Tonics' weapon, it has two different modes on there. Her primary is a burst type where it shoots out five shots at once, while her secondary is a charge shot that shoots out one big ball. But this actually can bounce off of walls and other platforms too. Now, if we're taking a look at her damage, each bullet from her burst does 10 damage for a total of 50, and a direct hit from her charge shot also does 50. But with the charge shot, if they just get hit by the impact of the explosion instead of the actual bullet, it can range from 15 all the way up to 18 damage depending on how close it is to the actual center of the shot. Now if you don't know already, every character in this game has 100 HP, which means that 2 charge shots is an insta kill, or 2 burst is also insta kill. However, if you look right here, the farther you are with the burst, the harder it is to hit all your shots. Moving on to Tonix's abilities, her first skill, she puts out Mr. Fizzy Turin 3. And basically what he does is that in the area in front of him, he just shoots out a whole bunch of foam balls to create cover and foam coverage. And you can see this dotted line over here shows how far his range is. However, if there's an enemy in front of him, he go ahead and switches into a burst type with his weapon and does about 22 damage per shot. Now Tonix's second ability is Mr. Bouncy Bubble. And Mr. Bouncy Bubble is basically a heat seeking weapon that tracks the closest person to him. And also has a three stage damage activation. The first stage is impact, then the second stage is explosion, and then the last stage is explosion after. And you can see he also shoots out foam balls in every direction to potentially hit other players as well. And finally her ultimate King Blaster 13, what it does is that she summons a mech to her and the mech locks onto the closest person nearby and launches a giant foam ball that does 69 damage per shot and King Blaster does 3 of those every time she summons her mech. Now even though you can use her ult to deal damage to enemies, you can also use it for support as well because of how much foam buildup it does. I'll show you guys in a second what I mean. As I go to switch teams, uh, even though the foam ball misses me, watch how much foam just only two bullets does, or even just one. Look how much buildup this is. So even though it doesn't hit your enemy, you can also use it to trap your enemy as well so you can like go on for more pressure. If you made it this far into the video and want to dive further into the community, I do have a discord link will be in the description below. There we talk about foam stars, other games, anime, manga and whatnot. And also you'll be able to stay notified about everything that happens on the channel. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, feel free to stop by, we'll love to have you. Moving on, let's talk about the best gems to run for Tonix. Now as you can take a look here, majority of my gems are focused towards King Blaster. Most of them are mainly to get King Blaster faster. And then I do have this one skill gem that makes the damage range go up. Now what that means is that so the circle that comes out whenever King Blaster targets onto somebody, the radius of it gets bigger. And with it being bigger, that means more foam support and more foam coverage. And if we're looking at the skill cooldown, I basically just want my abilities to come faster. Now the reason why I'm not focused on anything else like damage or movement or anything like that is because Tonics, the rest of her kit is good enough as it is. Getting King Blaster out a lot faster and having more form coverage helps your team get in and out faster and also traps the other team as well. Now if we're talking about in a match, you are mainly going to be playing mid range while lobbing charge shots at your enemies and chucking Mr. Bouncy Bubble all the way into the back line to either distract your enemies or catch them off guard. In your turret, you can either place it behind you to alert you when enemies are flanking you, or you can place it in front of you to act as like a shield. But keep in mind there are some characters like Chloe who can play around it. Now if we're talking about the ultimate, it has one major weakness and it's that it can be destroyed. So at the very least, you can take it as far as you can from the fight. But me personally, what I like to do is that I like to go all the way to spawn and then pop ult and then head back to the fight. 
because here's the thing nobody is gonna go out of their way to stop mid fight and go all the way across the map just to destroy the turret and on top of that if you're thinking about it it's only three shots right so by the time they get there the turret's already gonna finish during the oh and it's already gonna be gone so it's just gonna be a waste of time now if we're talking about aiming your best bet to hit your shots is that you either gotta predict where they're going to go or predict where they're going to land because remember tonics shots they take a little bit of travel time before they actually hit so keep that in mind when you're aiming your shots at people now when you're in a close range fight with tonics it's best to always have your enemies under you so it's easier to hit your shots so for example like if a Nagito was like pushing you just make sure you stay above him by jumping up in the air and aiming below you and it makes it a lot easier for you to hit your shots to foam him up now you can use the burst in fight but if anything the burst you probably use that to like finish the enemy off if they're like one tap or like two tap because the burst like i said it's really slow and the further you are away from someone the less of the shots are going to hit so that's why most of the time you are going to be working on using your charge shots to hit somebody also if you don't know already king blaster's range covers the entire map but more specifically the closest person to him so if the closest person to him is all the way across the map that's where he's gonna lock onto. If you ever accidentally summon Mr. Bouncy Bubble or just change your mind about using him, you can actually cancel throwing him by just going on your board and just hopping back off of it. And yeah, that's everything on how to play Tonics. But if you guys have any extra tips that I didn't cover in this guide, feel free to comment them below to help others. But yeah, if you do want more film stars on the channel, why don't you know go to support your boy? But yeah, I'm going to catch you on the next one. Y'all take it easy.